Hello friends, I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi for Geeks Under Grace, and welcome back to Geeks Under Grace Plays Banjo-Kazooie. In this episode, we're gonna take to the skies. You can see this is a nice big level centered around the snowman. And there's some presents down there. Here's a Christmas tree right there. Can't do anything with that right now. There's Mumbo's hut. Some houses. Nice little Christmassy village. Um, I think what we need to do, though, is we need to find the move that Bottles was talking about. Because it will help us advance the next part of the level. I can't exactly remember. Oh, I remember now why I wanted to fly down, because it's actually up here. One of the easiest ways... Oh no, that's a Jinjo. Well, I'll get him instead. What is right there? I was not wrong. Whoops. Here we go. I like how you keep sliding even in the cutscene, because it's in engine. Anyway, this is the devastating beak bomb attack! Nice one, goggles. Tell me more! When you're flying, press B to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. You've learned all the moves I can teach you, blah, blah, blah. Thank you very much. So, what you're supposed to do is jump up here. And then aim at the snowman and... Fire! There we go. And that takes him out. Each snowman has a different gift underneath him. For instance, that one had a Grundy pad. The last one had a Mumbo token. Let's take this guy out. You don't have to be precise either. That's the really nice part. You just have to be pretty close. These guys have a decent hitbox. Um, there's one more. I knew there was one more. Whoops. You spend a feather to go up. Oh, I missed! And, ah, uh, I hit the wall. Don't land, though. That would be bad. Oh, I hit the wall again. And I landed. Great. Probably gonna land in the water. No, I didn't. All right. Don't land in the water. That, that's bad. Because there's actually, uh, water's too cold. It'll tell you that it, it hurts to land in the water. Um, I'm gonna get whatever's over there later. Um, eighth, the flight pad. This the village outside Mumbo's hut area. Flight pad is over here. So, you can get the Mumbo token. Oh, there we go, landing in the water. Is the water too cold for you, Banjo? Well, stay out then! Jeez, you're so rude. Let's refill our feathers just a bit. And while we're here, might as well hit the grunty pad. Ah, it has revealed itself. Um, Where to next? I guess we're going to go this way. So we can jump on this platform to make it over here and collect these notes. There's one more, yes, and Mumbo token. And fill up our health. And let's get some more red feathers. Let's not overfill though. I think there are just enough plus one. Okay. <laughs> Need to take out that last snowman though. Where was he? He was up on a ledge somewhere. Yes. Let's get above him. Always easier to hit from above. Bonk. Oh, there's... Okay, there it is. Alright, so now that we've taken out all the snowmen, let's uh, climb back to the top of the... Uh, the snowman. The large snowman. Now we've taken out the dangerous snowmen. <laughs> 
Anyway, so now we can collect those red feathers. I'll probably speed this up. We've already seen this. And here we are. Let's grab the jiggy. Awesome. And now, and now, where to next? I guess we could. Oops, take some damage. Didn't know that would actually happen. Um. Well, let's see. Oh, now we can hit the buttons on the snowman. Yes. He's got three buttons. And we need to hit them all with a beak buster. And you will slowly descend, so as long as you fly away, you can aim at them pretty easily, actually. So, one more. Circle around town. And Bam! And we've got unlocked another jiggy. We will get it momentarily. We can actually just dive, dive. Okay. Gulp? Guck. Okay. I'm moving right along in this episode. I love it. I love it. Um, hmm. -hmm. What is up here? I think up here, something we can't do right now. But I might as well collect the notes since I'm here. No, no, I didn't want to talk to you. Yeah, I'm not interested because I'm too big for the sled. I need someone smaller. I wonder who that could be. How we can get someone smaller. Maybe we can get ourselves smaller? Hmm? Just a hint. Hey, speaking of empty honeycomb. <laughs> I was talking about that last episode, actually, not this one. Um... Hmm... Face itches. My nose itches, I mean. Some gold feathers right there that I don't need. And. Um. Hmm. Hey! I want your jiggy! Yikes, a nasty fierce bear! No! Come on! Give me your jiggy! I'll help you. No, please. Nope. He doesn't want my help. For no good reason. Phew, it's a fool to come out now. Oh, really? Nope. And then he runs away. He runs away. Up here is just the uh, ending of the race. I think there's different feathers. Oh no, they're both gold feathers. Darn it, I wasted a gold feather. Alright, well... Hmm, there are certain things we can't do right now as Banjo and Kazooie. Um... So let's change that, shall we? The reason why I'm flying over to Mumbo's is because you can't make this jump across the water. So I don't think you can. You can make it with the boots, of course. Uh, can we get up here? Really? 
Yeah, I knew we could get it. Oh, it's just another one up. Okay. I really thought that there was something in his eyeball. Socket. But it's just a one up. If there was like a ginger around here or something. Can't go behind his hut this time. So let's go inside. And he wants 15, and we've got 22. Well, um, I think we've got plenty. But let's check what you've got. Yes, okay, there's the Jinjo. I knew there was a Jinjo around here somewhere. And notes, even. Yellow Jinjo to match the yellow notes. Very cool. Alright. Well, let's step on the switch. And transform. Oh, man, Banjo gone all fat, got big teeth. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. We can't use the boots, but since walruses are covered in blubber, we are immune to the effects of the cold water. We can't swim, though. Notice we sink right in the water. It's kind of weird. Horses are actually very agile swimmers. But, you might have noticed these notes here in the water earlier that we couldn't get to. And now we can. Interesting thing about the water is unlike in the cold water. Unlike the swamp water, it's too deep and you can't actually walk through it. You have to swim through it. And so... Ah, oh, there's a... Uh, the ginger around here that you have to fly to? Oh no, he's right here. Never mind. Very cool. So we're just missing the orange one, and I know where it is. And over here, some more notes. Let's see. Do we want to race first, or do we want to talk to the walrus first? I don't know. Can't make up my mind. What do you think? Leave your comment below. <laughs> Not gonna help anything. Um, oh well, we're here, so we might as well race first. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy race? Hop on the sled if you do. I keep changing his his voice. But, uh, okay, come on, there we go. Great. Now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one, go! You notice the music sounds just like the level music, only sped up. Now, I don't know if he is on a set path or if he rubber bands, but I'll tell you what, he is not easy to beat, no matter how hard you try. He will... oh no! He will pass you just for no good reason sometimes, and then slow down. So I don't know if that's to give you a sense of, like, urgency, like, you need to do better, if it is rubber banding, or if he just speeds up at certain points. But these are slalom gates. You need to cut the corners as best you can while actually going through them. There we go. Best place to pass him is actually by jumping over him on hills. Oh no, I missed right at the end. Ah, darn. Looks like we're going to be doing this one again. But you don't get penalized for it. You just go through this cutscene. He's all deflated. Okay. Well, we're probably going to end up speeding up this part. You can challenge him as many times as you want. So let's do that. Three, two, one, go!
Here we go. I knew I'd get it on the second try. Too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon you need to race someone my own size. Yes. Um, unfortunately, you can't race him yet. You need a different item. If only there was something we could do. <laughs> uh, um... Wow, another walrus! Oh, I guess it's good that we raced him first. Because it takes us right to Waza here. We got Boggy and Waza. So yeah, he just gives us this uh, jiggy. It's kind of weird. Um, So we'll follow him into his den next time on Geeks Under Grace Plays Banjo-Kazooie. My name is Obi-Wan Kenobi. For more geeky content, be sure to check out geeksundergrace.com and follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, you can do the same for me. Thanks for watching. Be blessed.